Hey guys, so in episode number 15, we will continue to work on our uh, zombies. Uh, and as you can see, we got now a bunch of zombies here. And we can shoot them. And they will also fall down now. All right, there we go. And we will also implement a system that waits like uh, 10 seconds until the uh, zombie finally uh, disappears from our level. So we also take care of that and many, many more stuff, okay? And actually, one last thing, we will also plan implement a system so that a zombie can attack us, okay? All right, so with that being said, let's get started. Hey everybody and welcome to episode number 15 where we will continue to work on our enemy. So I will start immediately here by adding to our player the health script because I also want to uh, zombies be able to de-damage to us. Right now they can chase us which is great but it would be even greater if they could also do some damage. So in order to be able to do that, we need to attach the health script to our player. And just like I said in the episode where we create the health script, this is a universal health script. Okay, we can attach that to literally any object we want, and it will have then a health attribute. Okay, which is exactly what we want. Then it saves us a lot of time, right? Then the next thing we want to do is to head over to the zombie and then click here on animator. And then I just grab from down here the Z tag and create a new transition between the idle and the attack. And so this is nothing new, you should be already familiar with all of that since we have done this several times in this series already. So I added here the condition attack and I simply create a new trigger called attack and then add that here to the transition to Z attack. And I also made sure that has exit times unchecked. And again, since this is a trigger, we need, always need to make sure that it has exit time is checked once we go back to the original uh, animation. All right, and then we need to head over to our zombie or enemy script. And then I will remove this here and retype this quickly for you. So we can use here in a statement inside the update function, we can say if nav agent remaining distance okay is smaller for example than uh, two we can first of set the bool is chasing to false okay so we no longer want to be able to play this animation and then at the same time we want to set the trigger attack okay and the only thing I also changed was, uh, or is that I also uh, decreased the stopping distance to one, um, but I think 1.5 is also fine. So once I had now play, first off, um, the zombie should uh, run towards us, just like uh, the zombie did before. But once it reaches the remaining distance, it should uh, play the attacking animation, which is case. And it's pretty awesome, right? All right, so all of that is working. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is to add to our zombie. And I already opened that here up. Uh, basically to the base uh, human pelvis. Uh, make sure to open that up and then head over to base human spine and then open that up as well and then make sure to head over to base human left arm paw okay and so that's basically our left arm or the left arm of the zombie and then i added here a box collider okay so simply search for box collider and then i added these wells here and you don't need to use the exact same wells as I did here, uh, but um, basically just decrease that and reposition that a little bit so that it sits very closely to where the hand of the zombie is. Okay. And then we need to head over to our zombie or enemy script again. And then I will create a serialized field here for a box collider. And then we say left arm collider. And then inside start, I would say left arm collider equals to get component yeah, box collider. 
and then all we need to do is to drag and drop the base human left arm palm to our enemy script okay so we just drag and drop that here inside the field and now what we can do is we can use white on uh, collision enter and for now let's just quickly debug log uh, collision game object name so normally whenever this little box here that is attached to the left arm bone from the zombie whenever this box collides with our capsule yeah, that is attached to the player we should get back the um, console or debug lock uh, player because that's the name of our player right so I would just wait here until the zombie reaches us and there we go as you can see we got here a debug lock back with the player name so all of that is working however the zombie is uh, still attacking us but at the same time we got no new lock back okay and so if we head over to our scene you see that if i focus on the human left arm palm the zombie is not really reaching the capsule okay so there are two ways how we can handle that we could either in increase the box collider a little bit more i guess that's something i will try out so let's just try to increase the x value a little bit more to point uh, 33 something like that and it seems like we're still not really the box is still not really climbing with us so if i walk towards the zombie you see it works there we go but once we just stand still uh, we get no new lock back um, so one way to handle that or another way to handle that is to decrease the stopping these distance even a little bit more so to one maybe and as you can see now it works okay so for each attack the number increases which means we are logging that every time once uh, when the zombies attacking us and so with that we can say if collision game object get component health is not nil well then we can say collision game object get component health and then we want to deal damage since we have attached the health script to our player and so right now we will uh, the 50 points of damage that means that the zombie should be able to hit us twice until we reach zero for our current health so if i click here on player you see that it will be on at 100 once we hit play and then it should decrease by 50 and then again by 50 every time the zombie hits us okay so one hit 50 and 0 and there we go awesome everything is working so I will save everything first off and then I will also minimize here everything so it looks a little bit more cleaner again okay so our zombie this damage and all of that is working I guess the next thing is to add the falling back animation that comes with this awesome package uh, to our logic so that when once we shot our zombie that the zombie is not simply just disappearing but also playing some animations so that we get some reference back so i would just use uh, for now the run animation as a starting point since our zombie is always playing that um, once we hit play because our 
zombie tries always to chase us because we haven't really implemented a logic yet when the zombie should stop walking towards us so we just use now uh, the run the mission as a starting point and here I will add uh, a buoy called is disabled and again you simply have to create this here click on buoy and call it is disabled and then I want to set this to true make sure to uncheck has exit time and then here we will say it's, um, it's disabled false okay now back to our enemy script um, there's one issue that we currently have and that is that with the health instance current health I had an issue okay when I tried this out uh, before uh, recording this lesson so what we will do instead is we will grab a via get component okay so here we just create a serious field for the have script and then we will simply use have script equals to get component health and then we need to change that to have script and i wasn't able really to figure out why it it's not working with instance so that's definitely something i have to look into but for now let's just use health script okay we are the get component method okay so here we're saying hey if the current health is greater than zero do all of that and down here we say if the remain distance is small than two play all of these animations okay i would take that since we also only want to do that if our current health is greater than zero and then down here i can say if health script current health is smaller or equal to zero we want to do something else so i would simply say nm set bool is disabled to true okay and this should already play at least the animation once the health of the zombie reaches zero and then let's double check everything on the zombie itself okay we'll minimize here the destroy timer to one and it worked right the zombie was falling back so that looked pretty awesome so let's change the destroy timer here to 10 so that the zombie lays a little bit on the ground before it finally disappears and there we go and now after 10 seconds we no longer should see the zombie and everything worked okay i will save everything because that's pretty awesome and what i will do instead now is i will just uh, duplicate the zombie a few times so that we have a little bit more zombies than just one inside our scene like so and then we can grab all of them and duplicate them as well and then again and again so that we have quite a few zombies that are chasing us okay I will take the rifle and as you can see the zombie uh, zombies got us now there's one problem I don't know if you catch that but once we shot a zombie and the zombies falling down there's like an invisible wall okay so I shoot the zombie and I'm not sure if you can see that but there is like actually I will quickly disable all of them so that we have only two zombies inside our scene 
this way it should be easier for you to see so these two are coming at us right so i shoot the first one and as you can see there's like an invisible wall that we're shooting at okay so i'm not really able to shoot the second zombie But if I move away from the first zombie, you see it kind of works, right? And in fact, the second zombie is still chasing us even though he fought down, okay? So we need to do a few things. The reason why um, this is actually happening, let me show you this quickly inside the scene, is because the capture collider is still on from the nav mesh agent and also from the zombie itself. So if I kill here this zombie and click here on pause, and then when I head over to the zombie we just killed, um, you will see that there is still the nav, major, nav mesh agent uh, collider and also the capture collider. And that's what we are shooting at. Okay, so that's why we get this weird issue here. So what we need to do inside the enemy script is where we say half script current health smaller or equal to zero. Here we need to say um, game object get component uh, capture collider enabled false and then also nav agent enabled set to false since we no longer want to use it. Okay, and so now with that the, the arrow should be gone. We no longer should be able to like shoot at this invisible wall right once the zombie drops down we should be able to shoot uh, to the next zombie that's behind uh, the zombie that fought down okay and as you can see it finally works all right so i will bring back all of these zombies again and let's see how this looks all now Okay. All right, so these are a lot of zombies and And there we go. All right, so everything is working. Um, to be honest, when I initially uh, recorded the, the first lesson of, of the series, I wasn't really aware that this would turn out uh, to, to be a zombie shooter. Uh, so I probably need to recall or rename the, the title of the series here, uh, since it turns out to be a great, great zombie shooter. And yeah, I'm pretty happy so far. Um, I will wrap up here this lesson and to make it not too long as always. Okay, so the zombie got me. So the, this gets really difficult to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, everything is working so far. I will uh, stop here the episode, just like I said. In the next episode, I guess we will also take care of the bullet holes that we are currently spawning whenever we shoot zombies, which is something we don't want. And maybe we will also take care of our level design a little bit more. And maybe on a respawn kind of like respawn system so that we can also respawn once we uh, can no longer walk around because a zombie killed us literally um, so that's also something we need to take care of maybe and then finally maybe a system so that we also define when a zombie should stop chasing us because right now no matter how far away we are from a zombie it will always chase us okay so that's also something we need to take care of but other than that we are pretty much finished um, I think one more last uh, episode, one more episode until I can finally call this project done. Hope you enjoyed so far as always. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.